Is it true that a lot of men don't take women's illnesses seriously? My BF got sick last month and couldn't get out of bed and needed a lot of rest. I took care of him and tried to make everything as comfortable as possible for him cooked, did the laundry, brought him some snacks. I was quite understanding when he couldn't meet up with a friend of mine that we haven't seen in a while. Shortly after I got sick myself with the same symptoms. He had just asked me once how I felt and couldn't understand why I didn't want to go to a family party, even though I had told him repeatedly that I wasn't feeling good and I didn't want to risk spreading whatever I had. Edit I've talked to him and he admitted that he wasn't good at that kind of stuff and it's hard for him to do things like that for others. He couldn't really explain it but it kind of feels like something is holding him back from doing nice things. E.g. giving presents, planning nice activities not just for me but also friends and family he apologized though and tries to do better in the future. You make soup for me, I make soup for you. Keep this in mind if you plan to marry and have his kids. Pregnancy and postpartum are no joke and then of course normal sicknesses that will happen like this over a lifetime. Sounds like your BF has some growing to do. But here's the best part, you can always let him know how you feel about the situation and if he doesn't respect your viewpoint, you have the choice to move on to someone that will. I worked on a year-long project about underdiagnosis of women's heart disease. Male doctors don't even take women's heart attacks seriously. That said, a lot of female doctors don't take women's heart attacks seriously either. My husband does everything for me when I am sick, even if what I have is a small cold. He believes me 100 of the time and takes me seriously. There are two parts to this one your boyfriend is an uncommonly large idiot asshole when it comes to ignoring your illness too generally speaking. Yes, women do have trouble getting their symptoms to be taken seriously by men to some degree this is a well-documented issue with male doctors. The current season of the Serial Podcast is about the Yale Women's Fertility Clinic and a number of women who underwent procedures there, and complained of excruciating pain that was downplayed and written off by the doctors there. It later turned out that a nurse was stealing the fentanyl and replacing it with saline. I'm a guy and I've had so many horrible experiences with male doctors high on ego that I won't deal with a male doc, unless I absolutely have to. Crazy how common this experience is. Not just men, I've had this with our local GP who is female. Me and my girlfriend were both quite ill early this year, exact same symptoms. She called the GP and she told my GF to just rest. I call them and speak to the same GP and she got me an appointment within an hour and gave me penicillin and a painkiller. It was shocking really. I think a lot of men act like women are exaggerating symptoms or being hysterical. Men are also less likely to be socialized to be caregivers and may not see it as their job to care for someone who is sick. That doesn't mean those behaviors are acceptable. We have choices we can choose to be better than the last generation. We can choose to have standards for the people in our lives. Start by explaining how hurtful his behavior was and what you need from him. I could present to the ER with two broken legs are seven arm. And the first question a male doctor will ask me when was the date of my last menstrual period so yes, I agree men don't take women's illnesses seriously from the doctors down. Your BF is a prick, but women's health does have a lot of problems. Many people in the medical field don't take it seriously. Yes. From personal relationships to healthcare, women's suffering is always seen as exaggerated on our part and no cause for true concern. When women are ill to the point that they can't be any use to a man, they're often abandoned by spouses. It's unfortunate, but some doctors do dismiss women's symptoms too quickly. We need more empathy in healthcare. In this particular case your boyfriend wasn't being very caring or thinking. In general though I think a lot of people regardless of gender don't take women's illness as seriously and is well documented. I was misdiagnosed with a labrum tear in my hip for three years with constant pain, my sister-in-law went to the hospital with lower right abdominal pain, and they did three pregnancy tests before they decided to do a CT to see her appendix was about to burst. I also wonder if women have a higher pain tolerance not in all cases but in general is why it is dismissed. Yes, and more men tend to leave their wives if they get sick, while the women stay by the men's side. What a lovely reality.
I had the H1N1 back in 2009. I was so bloody sick, high fever, swimming in sweat, unconscious for two whole days. My BF, the chef, never even made me soup or asked how I was feeling checked up on me actually maybe he did and L didn't acknowledge him because I was dead. I finally woke up two days later and crawled to the kitchen to get a glass of water. I pleaded with him to go to the store and get me soup and Tylenol. He huffed audibly. I assumed he was really enjoying his time away from me. We suck it up when we're on our period so why can't we suck it up all the time? S. Bit pissed off on your behalf to be honest. Without reading your post, yes, that is a common problem known within the medical world around the world. Not a feminist or anything, this is a known fact. On the one hand, yes, it's actually a problem for the medical world i.e. Doctors not taking women's pain problems seriously. On the other hand, I think your boyfriend is just a bit of a dick. You take care of him, but when you are in the same boat, he won't take care of you. Not cool. So you probably got sick from him while taking care of him, but he doesn't think about giving you the same care? I guess let him take care of himself next time he is sick so that you don't get sick. My husband does this too, I think it's because we don't act the same as they do when they're sick like babies. I really don't know why it happens, he's not a bad person and is very caring otherwise. He's gotten better about it but it used to always frustrate me too. Tell him and if he listens, forgive him. Probably due to different upbringing. My BF is the same but I can see that's because he has shitty parents. Don't marry him. He's self-centered. Find one with at least a little bit of empathy. Yes, unfortunately this is very true even especially in the medical industry. There is value in women having women doctors to limit this problem. A lot of men don't take women seriously. As amazing when they find out women are actually people. Sadly, a lot of men don't take women seriously in any regard. Yep, he just told you who he is. Believe him. You're very unlikely to make it to the end of your life without at least a period of disability, and he can't even handle you having a cold. It tends to be true in general that includes all medical professionals including women not taking women's pain seriously. Women are brought up to be caretakers as well. Yes, it's true. And it's not just men in general. A lot of doctors don't take women's illnesses seriously either. As someone with an invisible chronic illness, I can confirm this to be true. None of my relationships have lasted beyond two years, including my one attempt at marriage because they all thought either one I was faking my illness and just being lazy and two I was too needy, and they didn't want the responsibility of taking care of me when I have a flare-up. My ex was the same. He actually seemed irritated when I was sick, even though I was overly accommodating when he was sick. Not the kind of person you want to grow old with. No that's not true, you just have a shit boyfriend. Women are tough like men don't know tough. I truly believe women should be allowed be take time off for periods. It's brutal. If men had periods life would be so different. Having said that, your BF is a selfish fucker. In the medical field, it is commonly known that women's pain and issues or diseases specific to women are not taken as seriously as men's are. Endometriosis and PCOS are just two to name a few. There isn't a significant of an amount of research, and perhaps because they have never experienced it, male doctors may not understand the intense pain of women who have those diagnoses feel. But your BF is not a doctor. Just selfish and lacks self-awareness. He was fine with you taking care of him but has no interest in doing the same for you. Not okay. Honestly just dump him I am so serious. Men are just like that. He doesn't see you or other women as human, just as bang maids. Is your BF studying medicine? He sounds like he'd make a great GP he's got the dismiss deny thing to a reflex.